Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thank you very much for making some time out of your day to check the video out. I know that everybody's got a limited amount of time to watch these videos, so much appreciated you uh, watching Intuitive Angling here. Thank you very much. Today, guys, got a really good video for you. I'm gonna talk about the flip and stick ripping hair jig technique that really a lot of the pros have been keeping under wrap for the past couple of years. I'm gonna explain to you what it is, how to fish it and how to take advantage of it. And if you're not familiar with uh, hair jig fishing, uh, which is this is a hair jig, we'll get into a little bit more here. I'll tell you what that's about a little bit. And if you're all, if you're already familiar with it, this is going to add a different technique to your arsenal and help you guys catch some fish this summer with it. So real quick, guys, before we get started, a couple things. I just want to invite you all. I think a lot of people know I started a second YouTube channel in January called The Fishing Teacher with Randy Blockett. It's more geared to like the beginning angler, people just starting out fishing, more basic tips. And uh, if you guys would like to subscribe to it, I'll put the link in the description here and you guys can, can subscribe to that channel. And also I'd like to invite everybody to subscribe to Intuitive Angling because man, 60% of you dudes that are watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So uh, just uh, click on the subscribe button, be much appreciated and you guys can never miss any videos. Okay guys, hair jigs, talk a little bit about this. If, if you're not familiar with it, if you are, basically this is the this is the hair jig. This is like a, it's a bucktail marabou jig. It's a large profile jig, usually a half ounce to three quarter ounce ball head. And it's usually got, um, you know, a large feather trailer on it. And you don't use a trailer on this. This is, this is how you fish it just like this. This has become a mainstay the last five or six years for offshore fishing in the summertime. Guys, I just crushed it on this. And I'm gonna say that probably the hair jig and the big swim bait have accounted for more summertime offshore fishing about any other bait out there, even more than like a crankbait or a football head jig. So um, this is the basic setup here. Now what we're gonna talk about today is the uh, ripping technique because the way that most people fish a hair jig, let me show you guys real quick here. The traditional way that people fish the offshore hair jig is they cast it out there, they let it hit the bottom, and then they reel it up real quick, five or six cranks. So the bait will come five or six feet off the bottom and down like a little bit. But the flip and stick ripping deal is designed to generate a reaction strike with a more powerful surge from the upper end. So what you want to do here is take your flipping stick. Now, my, all my tackle is still over at my mother-in-law's house. It's, I've almost got the tackle room set up, so I've just got a metal rod here to show you. But the way you want to do it is uh, make your cast out there. Once it hits the bottom, put your right hand on the bottom of the rod and your left hand just above the reel and reel down to it and then pop it up like that. Then reel, with, reel down with your right hand, pop it up hard like that, reel down, and you wanna snap it hard. You wanna move it like five or six feet. And what happens is this hair jig is gonna dart really fast off the bottom and it's gonna come up the bottom anywhere between three to six feet off the bottom, depending upon how far and how hard you jer jerk it. Now this is the key, this is the key to make it different because here's, here's the difference in it. It's like before, you know, when people were casting out there and they were just let it go to the bottom and they'd reel up like that, it would dart up off the bottom, but you don't have the speed that you can generate by putting your right hand on the bottom and your left hand above the reel and snapping that up like there. It's almost like popping, you know, one of those big flutter spoons off the bottom. It generates a reaction strike. Now, this is extremely important in the summertime during the times when the water's warmer because a lot of times these school fish that you catch like on the ledges, off the deeper points, on deeper structure, that type of stuff, these are highly educated fish because a lot of these offshore places, I don't care what lake you're fishing in, the GPS mapping technology and all the electronics, it makes these spots obvious. There, there's, there's obvious now as fishing some visible main lake point. So they get a lot of fishing pressure, but these fish will still use these places all summer long, but they're highly educated. And one of the things that you can do, and one of the reasons that the rip and flip and stick te technique is so good, is you're capitalizing on that reaction strike. Because what happens is when you're fishing for those school fish, there's only a small window during the day that those bass are actually feeding. And I think it's mainly at night. So. In order to trigger those strikes from those deeper school fish, you've got to capitalize on other, um, other parts of the bass's behavior that cause them to bite a lure 
which is out of instinct, competition, curiosity, anger, and reflex. And when you take that flipping stick and when you pop that thing hard off the bottom like that, the fish don't have a chance to, to think about it. It's like if, you, if, th if this jig is on the bottom and there's a school around it and you snap that thing hard off the bottom and it's trying to dart away, a lot of times the bass doesn't have time. They don't have time to think, well, should I get it or should I don't? It's almost like it's just instinct. It's, a, it's an intuitive primal aspect that's been with them for millions of years and they just charge out there and get it. Most of the time, this is what's happened. When you throw out there, it's like, and, and you wait to make a cast and you pop it off the bottom like that, about 25% of the time, the fish, the fish will hit it as it's falling. You'll see your line tick. But 75 to 80% of the time, guys, is when you snap it hard like that, you're gonna get to the top of the rod and they're gonna be on it. So then you have to set the hook and start reeling. It's usually at the top of that part, it's like the very high part of it is when they get it. So anyway, guys, give it a try. It's not difficult at all. The best advice I can give you is just get out on some main lake or secondary points on the lake that you're in. Get out there in anywhere between like eight to 30 foot of water, depending upon the clarity. If, the, if your water visibility is clear, get out a little bit deeper and just fan cast this big hair jig in and around those points and just cover it, snapping it hard with that flipping stick. Most of the time I'm fishing it on like 17 to 20 pound test, Seaguar and Vizex fluorocarbon line. You want to use a little bit heavier line because this is a power technique. And uh, you guys can get some of these if you're interested. Bait Works in Springfield's got a good selection. I'll put the link in the description if you guys are interested. And um, just give it a try. It's just another technique to add to your arsenal that I think is going to add up to some good ones. So see you guys next time.